My name is Laura Coyle, and in this video, I'm going to give you some tips on using the Layers panel in Adobe Illustrator for the iPad. Now, if you're new to Illustrator on the desktop or the iPad, you might be tempted to just draw everything on one single layer, but I don't recommend working that way. I think it's important when you're working on an illustration to get in the habit of organizing it into layers so you can lock and unlock and hide and show parts of your art as you work. Notice when you draw anything in Illustrator, and this goes for both the desktop and the iPad version, by default you're drawing one object on top of the other. This is called the stacking order. So each new rectangle you draw is on top of the last one you drew. And I'm going to change the color of this last rectangle to yellow so we can see it a little better. To change the stacking order on the iPad, Use the Common Actions menu when you have an object selected with the Selection tool and just drag to move objects down in the stacking order or up in the stacking order. When I open the Layers panel, I see my art is on Layer 1 and when I tap on the triangle, now I can see all of the individual rectangles contained on the layer and their stacking order. Notice how on the iPad the thumbnail gets a little bit bigger when you have it selected and then you can drag it to move it in the stacking order. So that's two ways to change the stacking order of objects in Illustrator on the iPad. You can use the Layers panel to select objects in your artwork, so just tap on the thumbnail to select individual objects, or tap on the Layer thumbnail to select all the objects on the layer at one time. To deselect, just tap the artboard in an empty space. Now let's add a new layer. Tap the plus sign, and now we have Layer 2 above Layer 1. That's a stacking order, too. New layers are always added above the current or selected layer. Now, what if I want to move the yellow rectangle up to the new layer? Well, I can select the object by tapping and holding its thumbnail, and then I drag it up to the new layer. But when I do this, I get a warning. Can't move non-layer object to the top. Well, that even confused me when I first saw that message, but here's what needs to happen first. Tap on the triangle on layer 2 to open it, and now I can drag this yellow rectangle up to layer 2, and there we go. So when you're moving objects from layer to layer, make sure you have the triangles turned down on layers that you want to access. Now let's collapse these layers by tapping on the triangles. So we're not seeing all the individual objects now, just the layers. Layers can be moved around in the overall stacking order like this. Some other things you can do are hide a layer by tapping the eye icon or lock a layer by tapping the lock icon. And when you do this, you won't be able to select or move the contents of that layer. You can also add a new layer above the selected layer. So if I select layer one, just turning the outline blue there, and then tap on the plus sign, I've added layer three on top of layer one. Also, you can swipe to the left on a layer and access the text field, and you can give it a new name. So I'll just scribble through that to get rid of it, and then call this background. Click OK. And of course, swiping to the left also allows you to use the trash icon to delete that layer. You can swipe left on any individual object on a layer as well. OK, so those are some very basic tips for using layers in Adobe Illustrator on the iPad. In my next video, I'll have more tips for using layers. So please like this video and subscribe to my channel. 
I'm Laura Coyle, and I teach Adobe Illustrator on the iPad and desktop. I've been a freelance illustrator for over 25 years using Adobe Illustrator, and you can find out more at lauracoylecreative.com. Thanks for watching.